Supernova, the Harry McQueen <laughs> movie, uh, which is maybe actually the most different thing we could be talking about because this follows uh, two very affluent white men um, who are uh, married um, for about 20 years, or I guess partners 20 years, maybe not officially married. Um, and they are uh, dealing with one of them, uh, Tusker, played by Stanley Tucci, um, developing Alzheimer's and um, kind of exploring what that end of his life, end of their relationship is going to look like. The uh, other partner is played by Colin Firth, Mm -hmm. whose character's name is Sam. And this is a short movie. It's like about 90 minutes, but I thought it was a really affecting 90 minutes that Harry McQueen um, helms here in his second film. And, um, you know, even if I I think there were a couple of, of things I wish had been fleshed out a little bit more, I found this to be... Um, I found this to be a more delightful look at someone in this sort of situation um, than Viggo Mortensen's movie, which we reviewed recently, covering a similar uh, type of mm. scenario. So, um, and we'll be talking about a similar scenario when we see the father in a couple yeah. of weeks. So, uh, Dave, Supernova, did you like it? Yeah, I, it's a good point to compare it to Falling from Vigo because that's like all like the obvious like in your face negativity of mm. what happens when someone you love is experiencing dementia but that movie also had a lot of like flashback scenes and trying to trying to flush out things i think too much and like holding the audience's hand and not focusing on i think the more interesting aspects of its story supernova is really straightforward there is very little plot it's mm-hmm. really just dialogue yep. for the most part in some like you know expressive landscape shots and looking at the stars and you know supernovas right but like right uh and the key the key to the movie's success is that firth and tucci are really good yeah like they, they, they have a long-standing like real life friendship for like about two decades i think at this point from what i was reading and like you can tell that like this is like a really warm relationship you believe these characters mm-hmm. have just been together a long time it, it, like it, it makes sense so seeing these these conversations be the only thing holding the movie up because they're really the only thing in the movie. Uh, it, it all seems to come together pretty well. Um, I think for me, I think I would have liked it more if I, I like, did you think there was like a, like an excite, an inciting incident for this conflict? It kind of just felt like a kind of a gradual build because there is a little bit of vagueness about Tucci's condition both of their plans for each other like it's kind of like things are hinted at throughout the plot but like it's just kind of like steadily like moving as they they talk to each other yeah i mean i I definitely think it's it's a gradual build i i think i would have liked and this is gonna sound weird as well but i would have liked if they had explored tucci's decision to um take his own life a little bit more like i feel like that kind of gets discovered in like the last third like the last act and then it's kind of uh discussed briefly um and and decided upon quickly about you know whether he's gonna go through with it or not and i I think that's actually a really interesting issue and one that has been a um you know an issue of debate globally um and you know certainly united states has been something um uh, you know whether people in these sorts of conditions should have the opportunity to and their life uh, on their terms. And, um, you know, especially like you said, when this relationship is so obviously so well uh, shown in the movie and, and acted out by these two, I feel like there was just so much more meat on the bone, you know, like, especially yeah. if this had been something that they had been talking about prior to going to Sam's sister's house or something along those lines, it really would have given them an opportunity to like have that back and forth. Whereas Tucci was just kind of like, no, I'm doing this. And then it was about first kind of coming to terms with that. And um, I just felt like there, it could have been a little bit more, but it, so you you felt like the, there wasn't like something that really brought the conflict to the, to the. Yeah. Well, I think that's the thing is like the relationship comes across as like really authentic and like it, everything makes sense to me. But because there's really no exposition in this movie at all, right. I think because you're just kind of thrown into just a moment in this relationship, mm-hmm. you just kind of have to go with it. And I think that just naturally lends itself to some vagueness. That's all. Right. Yeah. No, I, I agree with that. 
Um, I, I also really wish that we had gotten to see a little bit of the aftermath. And I know that they kind of leave it a little bit more um, open-ended, which I, right. I appreciate those endings, but I'm always fascinated by how these sorts of things would impact, you know, the, like a decision like that would impact um, the, the ex, ex, uh, tertiary characters in this story, so to speak. But um, yeah, you know, I, it was really thoughtful and I, I, I kind of liked the, uh, the use of the stars, I think as a way of kind of like, framing the way he was like talking about what's beyond and kind of thinking about his own life and um i also kind of liked how they use this um this creative juice that they each had or or have lost in some sense as a way of kind of demonstrating where they each were at in terms of this um, really this relationship with this illness and how it was impacting them both. And obviously you see at the end, Firth is able to play in front of others when he wasn't really sure he'd be able to do that again to the same level. And um, I just thought, I thought some of the, uh, the metaphor and symbolism really came across well in this. Um, any moments or scenes or anything that stood out to you that you want to touch on before we wrap up? Hmm. I really liked, like like the, the, the shots of the lakes, lake country in England's really mm. nice. Um, I guess the the moment early on where uh, Tucci's character is like, yeah, I know I didn't pack the pills. I, I didn't forget them. I just didn't pack them. Here's why. Like that kind of like plants the seeds for what's to come. I thought that was well done. Cause again, like, yeah, I feel like all the moments, all like the key scenes where they're really talking back and forth, it all feels like real conversations people would have, you know, it's not again, like I think just juxtaposing this with falling where there's like so much like direct action being communicated via conversations mm -hmm. for the sake of the audience like it's quite a stark comparison yeah I, I think the scene that stood out to me is probably the showiest one is the the dinner scene where tucci gets up to give the speech and can't really like read or like make it out and Firth had kind of has to read his own words and just the way it really impacts him and he kind of crumbles and that scene is so well done i, I really thought they were both great but i really thought Firth was putting on a uh, acting clinic in this one so mm -hmm. um yeah a, a delightful little film it's uh vod right now but worth checking out i'd say any last thoughts you know this is this is one in the like a basket of a bunch of movies right now where it's like because of covid i think these movies just get put out in like late january and february this year because they're still technically eligible for the oscars but i think of this i think of the mauritanian coming up and world to come coming up and uh falling you know recently like a lot of these movies like you feel like they had a, they might have actually had some like awards juice if they just came out a little earlier but like it's not possible at this point it's too late